Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's go for something a little bit different. We're still trying to solve this equation, meaning we're trying to find the value or values for x that will make the left side equal to the right side. Hmm, looks kind of complicated, doesn't it? But if you look carefully, notice there is a plus sign here which separates this portion on the left side from this portion on the left side. And notice that all this is multiplied together and all this is multiplied together. It's 3 times this times this times that and here we have 2 times this times that. All right, what we can then try to do is factor out anything that may be common. Notice we have an x plus 3 here and we have an x plus 3 quantity squared which means we can factor out an x plus 3. Let's start with that x plus 3 and then notice we have an x squared plus 2x to the third power and an x squared plus 2x to the second power which means we can factor out an x squared plus 2x to the second power so let's do that x squared plus 2x to the second power and that's all we can factor out because there's a 2 here and a 3 there so we can not factor out either a 2 or a 3 now let's see what we have left on the left side the x plus 3 is gone and one of these is gone oh two of these is gone we still have a third one left so we end up with 2 times x squared plus 2x and then plus we still have the 3 the 2x plus 2 is not factored out so that's still there and what else do we have we have an x plus 3 left because we only factor out one of them and we factor out an x squared plus 2x quantity squared so that's left on the second term and that equals zero now I believe we should try to simplify this we're going to multiply all this out and combine like terms and see what we get so here we end up with the quantity x plus 3 times x squared plus 2x to the second power and then here in the brackets when we multiply this together we get 2x squared plus 4x and here when we multiply these together we end up with plus 3 times 2x times x which is 2x squared 2x times 3 which is plus 6x 2 times x is plus 2x and 2 times 3 is plus 6 okay now what we're going to do is we're going to combine like terms and multiply times 3 and see what we get so we get x plus 3 that hasn't changed x squared plus 2x to the second power that hasn't changed and here we end up with 2x squared plus 4x plus 3 times 2x squared will give us 6x squared 6x plus 2x is 8x times 3 is plus 24x and 6 times 3 is 18. Now in the brackets here we can combine like terms and see what we get. Oh, I can't forget the equals 0 equals 0 otherwise it's of course no longer an equation that still has to continue. So here we have x plus 3 x squared plus 2x quantity squared 2x squared plus 6x squared is 8x squared 4x plus 24x is plus 28x and we have let's see here plus 18 equal 0 now notice since all these are even I could divide this by 2 and I can divide the right side by 2 of course when I divide the right side by 2 I get 0 divided by 2 is still 0 so we're going to divide this by 2 and we're going to divide that by 2 and that ends up looking like this x plus 3 times x squared plus 2x times the quantity 4x squared plus 14x plus 9 and that equals 0 now the question is is this factorable well we can give it a quick try to see if it is and if it's not then we have to use a quadratic formula to try to solve that because after all what we have now is we have the x plus 3 times x squared plus 2x to the second power I can't forget that and 
times this quantity equals zero. In other words, we'll multiply three quantities together equaling zero, which means either this is equal to zero, this is equal to zero, or this is equal to zero. So we can solve each of them separately and get the solution for x out of that. In other words, we can say that x plus 3 is equal to 0, or we can say that the quantity x squared plus 2x, quantity squared is equal to 0, or we can say, or we can say that the quantity inside the parentheses here, 4x squared plus 14x plus 9 is equal to 0. We have to solve each of those separately. Now the first one is easy. If we take this one right here, we can say that that means that x equals negative 3 is one of the solutions. The second solution can be gotten by taking this and setting it equal to 0. So let's try that. Let's bring that over here and write as follows. First we're going to multiply this out. So that ends up being the following. We can write it as this. We can write this as x times x plus 2 quantity squared equal 0. See, so notice what I did was inside the parentheses I factored out an x, but I still kept it as part of the exponent. Now this can be written as x squared times x plus 2 squared equals 0, which means from that that either x is equal to 0 or x plus 2 is equal to 0. It doesn't matter if it's squared. If this is equal to 0, then of course this squared equals 0 as well. Which means that x equals 0 is one of our solutions or x equals negative 2 is also one of our solutions. So now we already have three solutions. We have x equals negative 3, x equals 0, and x equals negative 2 as solutions from setting this equal to 0 and setting this equal to 0. Now we have one left to go. Is that one factorable? Well, let's check real quick and see if it is. If we want to write this as a term with two middle terms, so we have 4x squared plus something x plus something x plus 9 equals 0. So what I did is I just took this part and set equal to 0 and try to write this as two middle terms, I'm looking for two, two coefficients such that the sum is equal to 14 and the product is equal to the product of these two numbers together, 4 times 9, which is 36. Which two numbers multiplied together gives me 36 and added together gives me 14? Hmm. 12 times 3 gives me 36, but when I add them together, does it give me 14? 6 times 6 doesn't work either. Hmm. It looks like this is not factorable. What that means is I need to use a quadratic formula to solve that equation. Take another quick look and see if there's anything else. So I can try 12 times 2, 11 times 3, 10 times 4, 9 times 5, 8 times 6. Nope doesn't look like there's any combination of numbers that I can use to have the sum equal to 14, the product equal to 36. With other words, to solve this portion, I have to use a quadratic formula. Notice that here we have a is equal to 4, b is equal to 14, and c is equal to 9. So to find the remainder of the solutions, I will have to use the quadratic formula. We can then say that x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. When I plug in the numbers, I get minus b, where b equals 14, minus b is a minus 14 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 14 squared, minus 4 times a, which is 4, times c, which is 9, all divided by 2 times a, 2 times 4. Okay, simplifying that, we get the following. This is equal to minus 14 plus or minus the square root of 196, because 14 squared is 196, minus 
16 times 9, 16 times 10 is 160, minus 16 is 144, all divided by 2 times 4, which is 8, which becomes minus 14 plus or minus the square root of, that would be 52 divided by 8. And 52 can be written as 4 times 13 which means this can be written as minus 14 plus or minus 2 times the square root of 13 over 8, which can be simplified to minus 7 plus or minus the square root of 13 divided by 4. And that then gives us the next two solutions to our original equation. We now have a total of 5. x can be equal to negative 3, x can be equal to 0, x can be equal to negative 2, and x can be equal to minus 7 plus the square root of 13 over 4, or minus 7 minus the square root of 13 over 4. So this gives us the other two solutions, which means that the original equation has five possible solutions, solutions for x that allow the left side to be equal to the right side. And again, the methodology is factor everything you can, write it as the product of binomials and trinomials. So here we have a binomial, a binomial squared, and a trinomial. And then when they multiply together, that equals zero, which means that either this equals zero, this equals zero, or this equals zero. And in each case, find the solutions appropriate to that. And that's how we solve something like that.